It's a new day and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, that lighting is bright. And to a week in my life where I have to be very vulnerable with you guys because you saw the title. This is gonna be what I spend in a week as a mom of three, a Mennonite mom in Lancaster County. So this should be interesting. You guys can kind of see what things cost around here. I don't know, I do this video periodically just because I find it fascinating. You know, times are changing. These types of videos are so fun to look back on and just see what period of your life you were in. So anyway, today is a Sunday and you've seen like a little montage of our morning. We went to church and we were actually one of the last couples to leave. <laughs> I don't know, we just got to talking to people and yeah, we were there pretty late and then we got home and I had beef kebabs marinating overnight and so Josh threw those on the grill. We had that with couscous and then raspberry butter on homemade bread. So that was lunch. Oh, I did want to point out my dress. It is so cute, right? That's from Beloved Clothing Company. I like to just periodically look on their website and see what they have. So what did I spend so far this week? Well, it's two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, so nothing yet. Um, typically on Sundays, we don't really spend money. We don't go out to eat or shopping or things like that for the most part. I mean, we're not above like running to the store if we need something last minute, which is what is happening right now. Josh actually just left to run out and grab a few items because we're having some people over this evening last minute. Um, it's my cousin on the one side and then my cousin on the other side who they happen to be friends anyway so we're gonna hang out for the evening girl burgers and stuff like that so Josh ran to the store I'll put on screen what he ended up spending on I think I told him to get Parmesan cheese a drink mushrooms because we're gonna do mushroom Swiss burgers basically what I did was I took a meal that I had planned for our family and I was like okay we'll have that but have it for more people. But then we didn't have enough, like I only had one pack of mushrooms and I only had one bag of potatoes, you know? So we kind of have to supplement a little bit from what I originally planned on. That happens sometimes. So yeah, I guess we will be spending money this Sunday, but that's not the norm. But yeah, I think this afternoon, I'm just gonna sit down, relax, um, read a book. It is really cold outside, but I think I might get myself to go on a little walk. And then around four o'clock, I need to start getting the potatoes in the oven, marinating the mushrooms. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill afternoon. I love it like that on Sundays. I don't like to put pressure on myself to get any work done. And yeah, I'm excited to have people over this evening and to socialize a little bit. Enough blabbing, let's get this week going.
happy Monday. Pardon the lighting. The sun is just streaming in here and it's beautiful, but it makes it hard to film. I got up this morning and completely reworked my week because my sister called. She comes and helps me out one day a week for a couple hours. She's a CNA, like in-home care. And she called me and said a slot opened up and she has nothing going this morning. Can she come over and work for me? And I was like, you know what? This would work out so much better. Tomorrow is when she normally comes and it's gonna be a beautiful day. And I really wanted to text my friends and see if I could make them iced coffee so we could go on a walk. So I just moved some things around. Tomorrow I think we are gonna do that. Um, I had a couple friends respond and said that it works. So yay for iced coffee and walking time with friends. Um, but then Janan will come today and on my list for today I have to fix a video that went up on YouTube. I saw that I repeated myself and it annoyed me and I don't know how I didn't catch it the other two or three times I watched it. So anyway, I wanna fix that. I need to film a reel with the Beloved Clothing Co. They sent me a bunch of clothes and I wanna share. I have a Honey I'm Homemaker episode going up today and I wanna finish the thumbnail and a couple of those things. And I'm hoping to order seeds. I have had this on my list for a while and I just wanna get it done. So that does mean I will be spending a little bit of money today. I'll check in with you guys when I do that. Florette has really beautiful seeds and I don't know where I'm gonna plant them because we're digging up our whole backyard possibly this summer. And so I'm gonna have to find a new place to try to plant some wildflowers. And then after Janan leaves, I need to pick up some Fox Sparrow products that are coming out for our Mother's Day launch. I am so excited to see them and get my hands on them. I work with about eight different local women that I tap them on the shoulder and, be, and I'm like, can we work together? And we kind of create products together and it's just super fun. Beautiful items over there, all handmade. And yeah, you know you're supporting a family and a small business when you buy off of there. So that makes me feel like it's very worthwhile. Woke up this morning, it was 24 degrees, but it's supposed to get up to 50 today. So let's hope that happens. And then this evening we have a school meeting. So my kids are gonna go to my grandma. Thank you God for family who babysits. Cause one, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of free. It depends how you wanna handle that. But most importantly, they're spending time with people that you trust and that you love and that you know, you want them to have a relationship with them. So yeah, it's gonna work out great that way. And my grandma is their great grandma. And so that's pretty amazing. How many of you can say that your kids get babysat by their great grandma? She's awesome. Anyway, it's gonna be a very full day. I'm glad I had some time to sit here in the sunshine and figure it out because from now on, it's gonna just be go, go, go. And I'll try to catch up with you if I spend any money. Okay, it has been a very busy morning. I've been in the car all morning, it feels like, picking up different items for our Fox Sparrow shop. And I'm so excited to see this, but I'm feeling like such a grouch and such a funk. We're supposed to be going to Tennessee here in April, and now it's not happening, and I'm really bummed about it. Anyway, let's look at this. This will cheer me up. Oh my goodness, okay, look. This is just one. I have two designs. Comes with a glass straw, so you already kind of know what I'm opening. There's your hint. Can you guys see the design? Oh my word, You'll, yeah, I'll put better photos on, but it says it's a new day. Hey, hey, it's a new day. It's like the floral bouquet design that um, we worked on together, and it comes with a wooden lid, the straw. Oh my goodness. Perfect gift item for Mother's Day, friends, birthdays, whatever. And then I stopped at my leather lady and I picked up, we were doing a whole, we actually designed two new leather pieces. The first one is just a small leather good. This is a scalloped edge card wallet. I don't know if you guys can see that. I use mine all the time. <sighs> Real leather, so pretty. And then we're doing another batch of my crossbody with a really detailed wallet inside where you can keep everything organized. There's a slot for your coin purse and everything. So we've had this one before, but I designed a new one. She's so pretty, okay? This is a boxy shoulder bag. It has that same basket weave on the side and then it opens up. And it's the perfect mix of organization and just like open so you can throw things in, but there's a card slot, a coin zipper area, and wow. So pretty, handmade, hand stitched. 
everything. She doesn't even use a machine. It's, it's crazy. She is just a magician with leather. Everything she makes is so beautiful and attention to details, everything. So I am excited to get those up and listed for you guys. They might even be up on the website now so you guys could go check. Anyway, I need to run in here to Dutch Way. I'm about to spend some money. I am of course going to pay them for their items. That's how it works. I buy from them and then I resell it to you guys. So that's business expense. So I'm not even going to worry about that. In fact, it probably won't even get paid this week. It'll probably be next week. But I'm running in here to the grocery store to get a few ingredients because since our week got moved around, planned a little friend time tomorrow. We're going to go walking. But it also happens to be Fletcher's birthday and we are celebrating later over the weekend. But I wanted to have a little something for the kids anyway. And so I'm going to make white chocolate Chex Mix. And I'm hoping that they have party hats in here because I want to give each kid a party hat with the Chex Mix inside. They can eat it then they can wear it as we go biking on the trail and whatever. I don't know. It should be fun. So I'm going to spend a little bit of money even though I just went for groceries on Friday. Here I go again, but it's okay. Honestly, when it comes to last minute spending, it almost always is food, last minute hosting or yeah, things like this, but it's worth it every time. Here, let me hold this. Yes. I want these. Oh, okay. Well, then get one of those to Miller. Okay. So I got the supplies for the snack mix and it looks like it cost me $13.39 because I had a lot of the ingredients already. So kids want to help me out? Yeah. Okay, let's go. been such a busy afternoon but I'm quickly here mixing up some leftovers into a simple chicken noodle soup I love it when I can use up a whole bunch of leftovers and I had some carrots in the fridge that need to be used up last week we had a whole chicken for supper and so I have leftovers of that I made my own bone broth with the carcass of the chicken and so we're gonna put that in here it's gonna be really good and healthy I think and then I'll just add egg noodles at the end. Ivani really wanted me to put corn in too, but I do not like corn in chicken noodle soup. So we'll just have corn on the side to keep her happy. Anyway, this soup is simmering. I'll add the noodles in at the last minute, but I wanna go upstairs and get ready. Tonight we have a school PTF meeting. And um, yeah, I have a cute outfit I think I'm gonna wear. So we'll see if it works out. So I'm here in the bathroom getting ready for the evening. I did not shower. I just like touched up. I'll shower when I get home. I wasn't really doing that much physical activity today. I feel like going to school meetings, we're like on the younger end because we only have a kindergartner and that's it. And so I never really know how to dress. The dress code doesn't matter. You can really literally wear what you want, but I'm just wearing one of the outfits that I got from Beloved Clothing Co. Just a basic denim skirt and I love this top so much. Anyway, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Native as no matter what I'm wearing this week, I'll always be having Native deodorant on. They have body washes too that I love, but particularly their deodorant. Native deodorant is aluminum free and paraben free as well as vegan and cruelty free, but most importantly, it works. And it also comes in a variety of scents that is so fun to pick out. I actually have a new box coming here, so I'll have to sniff them and let you know what they smell like. But I do know that I have another citrus and herbal musk coming because this is my favorite. I order it about every time. It's just like clean, bright, and a little bit sweet, but I also love their charcoal one. It's more of like a unisex scent that me or Josh could use, and it just smells clean. And I don't know, that's another one of my favorites. And their charcoal body wash, I love that scent. It's so good. But they also have scent-free options as well. And they now have a sensitive range. Okay, so my new shipment just came in, and my new scent that I'm trying is blackberry and green tea. Let's see what this one smells like. Mmm. It smells red like you would think. It's clean and like berries and cream kind of. I don't know. It smells really good. I like that one, especially going into spring, summer. 
And I did get a body wash too, which I have not sniffed yet. This one is the Candy Shop Strawberry and Vanilla Taffy. I usually use their charcoal one, but... Wow, very sweet vanilla. You guys would love this one. I think Ivani would love this one. Maybe I'll share it with her. I don't know. I love all their scents. They're so good, but like I said, they have unscented. Native gives you up to 72 hours of protection, even if you're moving around throughout the day. And they're made with familiar and simple ingredients, such as coconut oil and shea butter. It's not sticky and it feels dry while you're applying it. And right now, when you use my code, MeganFox10, you can get 20% off of your first order. And this offer is good site-wide, but only for a limited time. So stock up and save. You guys actually ask for this code pretty often, so now I'll have to refer you guys to this video because this is my latest one and I always love working with Native. Like I said, they pretty much sponsor my life. So thank you Native and go use that code guys. But anyway, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I need to feed the kids supper, get Miller up from his nap and Josh is gonna be home like in the nick of time. So I'm gonna have to like get the kids out the door. But I do know that with having my friends come tomorrow, I'm gonna have to stop for a gallon of milk. So I'll put that on screen what that is and then I'll talk to y'all tomorrow as I'm getting all the stuff together for them. morning at home except today is Fletcher's birthday so we of course had the fun birthday pancakes and stuff like that and I got some cupboards cleaned out this morning I'm feeling much better um, but there's still so much more to go but I am making little snacks because my friends are coming over any minute in fact I can't believe I haven't heard the doorbell ring yet I have a coffee for each of them and then I'm getting the kids a party hat with little white chocolate checks mix that we made yesterday and it's extra fun because of the springy M&Ms. Anyway, these are pretty little kids. I probably don't need to fill it the whole way. I don't know if you can see back there, but I have hot dogs thawing out because that's what Fletcher wanted for his birthday, which cracked me up, but we really don't have hot dogs very often, so are you excited, buddy? They're eating a little lunch before we hit the road. They're so cute. Where are we gonna go? On the trail. We're gonna go on a walk. You want a party hat with your snack? Yeah. By the way, if you freeze the white chocolate party mix, it's a hundred times better. Half thawed out marshmallows, even an adult is not gonna turn that down. What are you doing, buddy? Wow, Fletcher, look at that. It's a car wash, you said? Why'd you build it up on the table? So Miller could get it. So Miller could get it. <laughs> are you having a good birthday? Yep. Yeah. Okay, excuse the mess of kitchen, but it's evening. Josh just got home and he brought me some mail. So I did get a few exciting things, but we're trying to get ready for Fletcher's little birthday party. It's just gonna be us. I think mom is coming over later with a gift for him. Um, but yeah, we're just having hot dogs for supper. Like I said, um, <laughs> Josh will grill them. You're excited about the hot dogs. I know that Costco. much. Costco hot dogs. He loves hot dogs, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have hot dogs, corn, and I think I have some pasta salad in the fridge. And then later on, we'll eat pie and ice cream. We're gonna have his cake later in the week, so stick around to the end, and I'll tell you what I spent on it. Oh my goodness. Normally, I make all my kids cakes, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, I wanted to be able to hang up herbs in my kitchen. Sometimes I buy too many, and it's like a waste, or in the summertime, you get kind of an overabundance, especially of parsley. I feel like I always had so much of it. And so I got some hooks off of Etsy. This one is a sleeping fox. And then this is a running rabbit, like a hare. So it's a fox and a rabbit, and I'm gonna hang them up on either side of my window on the walls of my cabinetry. Yeah, it's just me being Ma Ingles again, I know. <laughs> but then I can tie up the herbs and they can hang there and dry. And also kind of add a little bit of color over there and a little bit of domestic decor, I guess you could say. But yeah, I can link where I got these on Etsy. They had all kinds of animals. Um, but I don't have to include this because I bought this like two weeks ago, I think it was. And they're really good quality. I'm glad because they weren't necessarily cheap. And Mountain Air Boutique sent me, um, I'm friends with Rachel and I'm just gonna show it on Instagram in return for a free dress, which is always fun. So this is free, but um, Ivani has one like it, so we're gonna match. It's gonna be so cute, but anyway. I think I'm gonna wash it first because it's muslin, so it'll shrink. And I think I want it to shrink first before I show it on Instagram, that way people can see like what it looks like. So I will just put that back in the bag. You ready for supper, buddy? 
Say yeah, hot dogs and corn are your favorite too. Yeah, at least all the boys will be happy anyway. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Here comes Fletcher. What did he get? <gasps> Miller. Looking on Facebook Marketplace for these forever, and Josh found two of them from a like kids place called Tiny Town. They were selling them, so we have two. We meant to get one, but they threw the other one in for like thirty dollars. So we're like, can't beat that price. decluttering and she found my doll from when I was little. Little did I ever know that I have a daughter that looks like my doll someday. <laughs> Look at that. She has red hair and blue eyes. And you said she has one freckle. No, two. <laughs> two freckles. I think it might just be little marks. Wow. You put it in your room? Okay. What did grandma get you? It's a costume. Okay, I'm here with Fletcher, just Fletcher today. Um, he's going for his four year checkup. Since his birthday was yesterday, Fletcher, how was your birthday? Good. Did you have fun? Yeah. So much fun, yeah. That was a bigger birthday than normal, um, just because we've been looking for power wheels for a while. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, we did not have to splurge too much because they were on Facebook Marketplace. Same with the golf clubs. Oh my goodness, your face. Is mm -hmm. that a smile or a sneer? <laughs> 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 anyway, we're about to go into the doctor and spend money. <sighs> I know it's not going to be pretty because, um, yeah, it never is. I'm just thankful that it's just a well-child checkup, and I just think of all the mamas that are spending big bucks on other more scary things. Um, but, yeah, we're self-pay, so I have to let you know what the bill was. Okay, it's been a busy forenoon and I got a lot of stuff decluttered. It's mostly in the basement, a lot of toys, mostly books though actually. I went through an era where I was just buying books every time I saw them. And now we love going to the library and then we have our old faithfuls, our classics. I have some books that my mom gave me that she read to me as a kid, so I kept those. But yeah, I have two bins, um, rubber made bins that are going to be going right there. <laughs> They're gonna be going to the reuse it, so. Hopefully they can get passed on. And I did throw a bunch of stuff out as well, broken pieces from games and stuff like that. I would love to give you an awesome like before and after, but I think we're just gonna take a break here and go on a walk. It is beautiful out and I'm feeling a little frazzled. Like there's so much to do yet. And so I, I'm definitely not gonna get it all done today anyway. So the kids had their lunch. I think we're gonna go on a walk, enjoy the sunshine, maybe play with Fletcher's birthday toys. And yeah, I'll clean this all up when this, once they're down for their naps, so. Anyway, it was successful, but I think it's one of those projects where you start and you realize how much you have to do and you didn't realize it until you got started. So anyway, yeah, and I wanna go garage sailing this weekend. Anyway, our friends are having a garage sale in their neighborhood and it starts on a Thursday and goes till a Saturday. And so I'm excited, I'm gonna take the kids with me tomorrow. I think I'm babysitting my sister-in-law's boys in the morning while she goes to a doctor appointment. And then afterwards, I think we're gonna go hit some garage sales with the kids, so that'll be fun. Good 
morning, so I was not gonna check in this morning at all, but I got up, my hair got nice, and my skin was clearing up. I had a random zit on my eyebrow, like that never happens, I don't know. Anyway, but it's clearing up. It's a gloomy day out there, but we have such a fun day planned, and I'm really excited. <laughs> Um, first of all, I get to see Josh in the middle of the day. I think we're taking him lunch, but before that I'm gonna be babysitting my two nephews and Then we also want to go garage sailing like I was saying earlier So I don't know if we'll actually find much the area we're going to is very I hate to say this It's very Mennonite -y. and I feel like I don't find a lot there because we Mennonites are frugal We wear out our stuff and so I feel like a lot of my kids stuff when I wear it out I have no business, you know trying to sell it at a garage sale I'll just get rid of it. It's served its time and whatever move on and I don't buy clothes that look worn Really either if I can help it because we don't live on a farm I can see how that would be really helpful if you needed everyday clothes, you know for your kids on the farm or something That's just not our case So I'd rather have my kids just each have like six outfits because even if they have more than six outfits I end up reaching for the cute six outfits and then we just wear them out and they hardly even have any life left in them to pass them on I don't know I over the years with three kids I've kind of learned what works for me and the minimal approach is definitely the best bang for your buck and I feel like it's the way you can get your kids dress the cutest rather than having some subpar stuff mixed in with the cute stuff just have only the cute stuff <laughs> I feel like right now my kids wardrobes are lacking a little bit Ivani just got a bunch of new dresses I have an Amish lady that sews for her just because I can't find the time or I don't make the time to do it but I buy the boys a lot of basics <laughs> so that they can kind of match with me and Vani if we want to kind of have like a family look going on for church or something or going away in the evening so I don't know it clothing is quite I don't have a video about my systems because I feel like I'm still struggling to figure those out I do love my no fold system but anyway I was feeling chatty this morning and I just wanted to touch base tell you what's going on for the day and let you know that I'll probably be spending some money um I may even be spending more money than I realize because if I take Josh lunch maybe that'll be on his business card I don't know <laughs> um, but that's gonna be a lot of food for him and his brother and the whole family if we do that so we'll see what we end up having time for he might not need me to do that and then garage sale who knows speaking of which I have no cash how's that gonna work I can't really hand a 50 I guess it's only one person I have to hand a 50 to and then after that it's broken up I don't know I feel bad doing that I like to have small bills so anyway we'll get our day rolling here Lollipop, he's back there as chipper as ever now. Mom fail, right? Okay, we're back. It was very abbreviated because my sister-in-law got back later than we thought and then it was closer to Miller's nap time and so we just went to a couple places. But it's like I told the one girl while we were garage sailing that it's just about the fresh air and like hanging out. Um, I was like, I'm fine if we don't buy anything. <laughs> um, it was just more for like the activity of it and kind of in that whole genre of unhurried errands so i think it was a win and we got to stop in and see josh so that was super fun i spent nine dollars fletcher i gave the kids each a dollar fletcher got a car and vani got these like jelly shoes that i have no idea when or where she's gonna wear them but they were her size and she just had to have them but you go girl i have these exact ones just in a larger size so i got these they were two bucks for ivani and fletcher to put their own vitamins in because every time they want to take their vitamins i have to open three bottles unscrew the caps 
Um, they take a multivitamin, a probiotic, and elderberry gummy. So yeah, it's like a process. So now I'm like, I can do that once a week and streamline it. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. And it was funny, the girl that was selling them, she's like, I actually got the idea from you because I had mentioned them in a video in the past. And then she said she never used them, which cracks me up because I still use my vitamins to this day. And then I got this jar. I've been looking for something to put my sweetened condensed milk in for my coffee bar. It'll just sit in the fridge and then I can pull it out and it works great. Metal, I mean, they come in like a metal can, so that's perfect. And I got this recipe book. You guys know me. I love a bougie drink, anything that's super fancy. So um, we'll see what I make out of this this summer. A lot of really fun punches and things like that for summertime. And I know already I'll be de deviating and coming up with my own concoctions, but I thought it'd be fun. And it looks like most of them are not alcoholic. And then I was very tickled about this. I had been shopping for a lumbar pillow for a long time, long before my bedroom was even redone. And they're like 180 bucks, some of them. I don't know, I've been really eyeing the ones that are like carpets. They look like a carpet bag type of thing. And they are like a uh, expensive textile. So I found this for a dollar. The zipper doesn't work, so I'm just gonna take the casing off and I'm gonna find another pillow to go on, on the lumbar. So I'm excited about that. I mean, what does a lumbar pillow insert cost? I feel like I saved myself a ton of money. So $9, I'm calling it a success. in the car the last place i want to be josh called and said he's gonna work till like 7 30 or something like that to try to get everything done and i was like well if we're not gonna have a fun family evening together anyway then i might as well go for groceries tonight <sighs> it's the last thing i feel like doing but tomorrow megan will thank me so i'm going for groceries tonight instead and we'll just knock everything off the list the big kids are picking up the chalk that was in the garage i pulled out and i drove over a nice perfect piece of chalk and I said, okay, get back out and take care of your supplies. So they're picking up the chalk in the garage right now and putting it back where it belongs. There's a piece at the orange car. In front of the orange car. Yeah, there you go. Do you guys hear the birds chirping? Oh my word, it is beautiful out. It's lifting my spirits a little bit, but oh, I don't know how you guys do it with husbands that like work night shift or like away all evening. I'm not used to it and I can be a big baby about it. I just like evenings to be together, to relax. I mean, we don't really relax, but we're together at least, you know? So anyway, it's fine. I'm gonna get something off the list and then when Josh comes home, maybe I'll get pick up a little treat or something for us to eat. <sighs> anyway, he's just finishing up a project and it doesn't make sense. If he would stop tonight, then he'd have to pack up his whole truck and everything and come back another week. It just doesn't make sense. So I was like, you know what, get her done. Did you fix it, kids? Yep. Okay, we're gonna take good care of our chalk now? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Hi-ho, hi-ho, off to Aldi we go. Okay, now we're gonna look for plates. Ooh, butter's on sale. I should get four, right? Oh, limit six. Here, you want to put this up? Here's another butter. There you go. Want to put this up? You're huffing and puffing. Goodness, is that exciting? Okay, we're back. That was a success, I feel. It took us 25 minutes in the store and we spent $125. Um, it's about what I thought I would spend. I try to spend like $100 a week. I bought, I stocked up on butter, spent $15 on butter because it was $2.50 a pound. And then Josh called and said he needed body wash and stuff and Aldi happens to have that now. So that was the other extra 10 bucks at least. I don't really budget. Um, I just try to keep it under $100. And then if we are going to the cabin, why is it when you go away for a weekend, your whole grocery bill takes up your meal for that weekend. So the plan for the cabin is, well, let me just show you the food I bought and that will tell you. I'm gonna make trail mix. I already have a thing of raisins, so I'm gonna mix peanuts, raisins, and M&Ms together and make a trail mix. I've got bacon for the green beans. Um, I'm probably gonna brew a bunch of espresso shots and take them up cold, so I wanted to get some stuff for that. 
I'm in charge of drink for our meal, and so I bought the Homestyle Lemonade. And they actually had the grapefruit soda, but then I realized, wait, it's not grapefruit soda, it's grapefruit water. So that's gonna make things waterier and not as sweet. So I might have to add some fresh lemon juice or something. And then I like to float strawberries in it, just like the Sarasota I had when I was in Florida. It's kind of like a grapefruit strawberry lemonade. It's so good. I thought I'd take these along for the cabin for snacks for the kids. And then I'm gonna saute peppers, peppers, mushrooms, and onions to go with our sausage sandwiches. So I got that. And then there's all the butter. I got cream cheese because we're going to do smoked cream cheese for a snack. I don't know. I'm bringing a lot of snack options along. I don't want to be the friend that like skimps and doesn't bring anything to snack on in the evenings and stuff once the kids are in bed. Josh loves his Takis. I don't understand. I love my dad's pretzels. He doesn't understand. <laughs> and then, yeah, back here is this big box of Ritz crackers to go with smoked cream cheese. And I, I forgot to say we put pepper jelly on that when we do smoked cream cheese and pepper jelly. So there is $125 minus a big gallon bucket of ice cream and I still have to pick up the cake tomorrow. So that's gonna add to the bill too. I really try not to gripe about the grocery budget, but I feel like this week I definitely spent way over budget on groceries. I have to remind myself, it's a party too, right? I did the snack mix for Fletcher's birthday and then his cake will be just extra. It's kind of like party. So we don't budget. <laughs> if I didn't address that in this video, we just try to spend as least as possible, be frugal, be responsible. And if I feel like we're spending a lot of money on groceries, we maybe try to eat out a little bit less and like it ebbs and flows. Um, even when we were pretty strapped, we didn't, budget i sometimes tried to like budget groceries and stuff but josh just wasn't brought up the way i wasn't brought up that way either um but his parents do say we should budget they think it's a good discipline i don't know it's like my mom says just don't spend more than you need to <laughs> so that's what we try to do but obviously priorities are different for everyone so you can't judge somebody else for saving in one area and then they're like spending in another oh here comes the baby one sock on one shoe on Okay, I got my work boots on. It is a crazy day. Just kidding, I'm wearing socks. But I have all the machines going. I have the dishwasher running, the laundry is going, and I have my whole list here of things that need to get done because we're leaving for the cabin, hopefully by four o'clock-ish. It's only like half an hour away. It's a really close by cabin, so that's super nice. There's not like any commuting involved, so the kids can take their naps here at home and all that. Anyway, I need to tidy the kitchen in the house. That is done. It's not clean, but it's tidied. I need to do laundry, so I put a load of laundry in and it sounds like it just finished. I'm gonna throw that into the dryer. And then while that's drying, I wanna dice the veggies for the sausage sandwiches. I have to do all the peppers, mushrooms, and onions. I will saute them at the cabin though because yeah, they're better that way. And then I need to make the green bean sauce and fry up the bacon. I'll just do that in the oven. That'll make it super easy. I'm also gonna smoke a bunch of cream cheese because we love smoked cream cheese and pepper jelly with Ritz crackers or chicken and biscuit, whatever. And I feel like that'd be a great snack to eat at night when you know the kids are down and we're playing card games or whatever. I don't know, I like to kind of think of a snack to contribute and I'm not all about the just chips and candy and everything. And after that's all done, we're either gonna pack the clothes or go get the cake, depending how Miller's doing. I want to kind of go to the grocery store when he's starting to feel a little sleepy. I wanna push his nap off a little. I think I'll put him down at one o'clock so that we can leave at four-ish. And I told the big kids that I'll try to get them their naps too, that way they can stay up later tonight. We'll see how it all goes, I don't know. Um, and then after the kids go down for their naps, I'm gonna sit down and edit, no matter what the house looks like. I'm gonna sit down and edit, I have a video to finish up. So I'll just have to let the house however it is. And then when that's done, I'm going to pack up all the food and finish tidying up, maybe wipe down some surfaces and some things like that. I need to pack a bunch of toys because it's supposed to be a rainy weekend. Uh, so we thought we'll bring like Candyland and things like that for the kids. I would bring Play-Doh. Last time when we went camping, I brought Play-Doh because it was old and yucky anyway and kind of getting mixed together. And so I was like, you know what? I don't care if it all gets destroyed and gets stones in it and stuff like that. So I'm not volunteering my Play-Doh this time around because it's pretty much brand new. So hopefully another mom brings Play-Doh. That's always like a big hit with the kids. And I 
I was trying to think of, I told the girls that we should all bring a cookbook to like pass around and look at while we sit there and chat. I love looking at other people's cookbooks and just getting inspiration for meal planning and things like that. So that's always fun. And I haven't really announced it on here yet. So if you watch this far into the video, I guess you get a little Easter egg. I am designing a fall clothing collection, a modest clothing collection. And I'm at the fabric picking out stage. So I'm gonna bring up a bunch of the fabric samples and stuff and see what the girls say, get their input on things. Um, there's a skirt to fit on, some things like that. So that'll be exciting. Um, I'll probably pack my nail stuff just because when you're sitting around the cabin, it's nothing better to do than do your nails, right? And yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be a rainy, cozy, perfect weekend to spend inside with everyone. I just hope everybody's healthy. I really don't wanna bring sickness home. So anyway, it's gonna be a packed morning and I don't foresee spending any money except to go pick up the cake, which I already had to pay for ahead of time. But to be fair, I guess I should add that to this week's expenses. So I will do that. It was like not cheap. It better be a big cake. I'm envisioning like a very large cake. So so it's a lot to do, but I'm feeling good and thankful for the energy. Rainy days are perfect to get things done around the house. So here's to a productive morning. <gasps> wow. What do you think, Fletcher? Is it gonna work? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, I'm just packing here for the cabin. I'm just throwing everything in, well not throwing, I'm rolling it up and putting it in here in this bin because we don't need a suitcase, we're just driving down the road. Anyway, my outfits for cabin weekends are usually very chill. So this is just like a black denim distressed skirt and I have leggings as always and a graphic tee that actually happens to be Josh's but I adopted it. <laughs> um, very cozy socks and black leggings that um, I will wear black leggings with every outfit probably just so I can be comfy and cozy and you know it's a rainy weekend at the cabin. This outfit is just a black basic dress and um, a denim jacket and then fun socks. I'm wearing fun socks with all the outfits. <laughs> And then this is my other outfit. I only need two, so we'll see what I'm feeling. This is an Amazon cardigan. I've been wearing 24-7, a basic white shirt, and this asymmetrical distressed denim skirt, white top, and fun socks again. Where's the Miller? There he is. Where's Miller? There he is. <laughs> you ready for your nap? You ready for your nap? Say nap. Oh. Gently, ge don't spit. Wow, and there we have it. 45 minutes later and we're at the end of the week. So what did I spend? I'll tell you the total and then I'm gonna give a couple disclaimers and caveats. So here is to the exact penny that I could figure out is what I spent personally as a mom of three this week. Um, a few disclaimers, I feel like this week 
whether you think that number is low or high, I feel like some weeks it would actually be higher than that because I didn't do any online spending this week at all, which is how busy I was. There's things that you saw come in that I had bought previously, so you can kind of get a feel for like my spending habits when it comes to that. But honestly, I, by the way, I'm out here on the porch because my kids are napping. <laughs> but I am currently browsing for stuff for my daughter's room. Didn't actually buy anything this week. I was gonna buy seeds, that never happened. It was just a very busy week and you know what? Busyness turns out to be a good thing in some ways. I wasn't able to spend money online like I sometimes do. And I actually really like to spend money online depending what it is because I feel like you can really shop around and get a good competitive price on something that you've been looking for. And I don't know, I feel like I almost make more impulse purchases in a store with three children. So I don't know, I guess it depends how you look at it. Also, I like to tithe 10% and also just give where I feel led. So that was not in here. And I think there was one day where my sister came a second day and you might've seen the total jump up more than what you thought it should be. Cause she actually came for a couple hours another day because she wanted the work and I was like, you know what? It's been a crazy week, I'll take you, sure. Yeah, I feel like the, the majority of the money I spent was on food and Janani, <laughs> my sister's name is Janan, so I call her my Janani, haha. <laughs> anyway, regardless of what you think of the total, I think it's fun to see what things cost. I mean, the fact that I got butter for 250 probably has some of you guys flabbergasted, so yeah, it's always fun. I would love to see all of your little versions of this, and even if you do not have a YouTube channel, I highly recommend you guys doing this exercise. Um, maybe you're the really rigid budgeter, or if you're not, at least take a little inventory of your life and try to periodically see where your money's going, see what you can do to create cut back and as you saw I spent a lot of money on food it was a hosting slash social type of week and so I feel like food goes hand in hand with that I would never consider that part of my grocery budget it is the price you pay for food and fellowship in the Mennonite community and <laughs> that's just how it is I try to do these videos maybe twice a year let me know if you'd like me to include like utilities and things like that I doubt I will but I mean, I find that kind of thing fascinating. So I don't know, you never know, but I'm not part of the finances with that. So it kind of feels a little inauthentic, but maybe we could work something out. I don't know, we'll see. By the way, this is the other cup design. I don't know if you guys can see that beautiful floral pattern scattered all around it. No quotes, just a pretty floral. I kind of wanted it to be like wallpaper inspired and I think it's so cute. It looks even better if you're not like me and you drink your coffee darker or you can put like a juice in there or something. It's just so beautiful. Yep, this is like mama's cup. I don't share with kids. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Check out Native to save some money. Thank you guys all for being here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.